redox reactions and electrode processes. When zinc rod is dipped in copper sulfate solution, zinc gets oxidized to Zn2 plus. Okay, and uh, copper gets reduced, copper ions gets reduced to copper. In this, direct transfer of electrons takes place. take zinc in zinc sulfate solution like this and copper in copper sulfate solution and which is connected externally through a conducting copper wire here the indirect transfer of electrons takes place indirect transfer of electrons takes place okay so if we take this here oxidation takes place and here reduction takes place okay and the electron flow will be from anode to cathode this is anode and this is cathode this is zinc electrode and copper electrode zinc electrode is dipped in zinc, zinc sulfate solution and copper electrode is dipped in copper sulfate solution now each beaker contains both oxidized and reduced form of the same substance this is called as redox couple and which can be represented like this Zn 2 plus Zn and Zu 2 plus Zu this is the redox couples ok now two beakers are connected by a salt bridge this is the salt bridge now what is salt bridge salt bridge is a u-tube containing a solution of potassium chloride or ammonium nitrate boiling with agar agar Okay, boiling with agar agar, it gets solidified and a jelly like substance is obtained. This is called as salt bridge. Okay, so electrons flow from zinc to copper. Okay, at the same time, the current flow is takes place in the opposite direction. So, the electrical continuity or the circuit is completed due to the salt bridge also this prevents these two solutions to mix together okay and through this salt bridge a migration of ions are taking place okay so this is a function of salt bridge in this cell and the flow of current is due to the potential difference between zinc and copper Okay, this is due to the potential difference between zinc and copper. So, electric current is uh, flowing in the opposite direction of the electron flow. Okay, and this setup is called as electrochemical cell, electrochemical cell or, ga or galvanic cell. Okay, or galvanic cell and zinc copper cell this zinc copper cell is called as daniel cell okay and which can be represented like this zn zn2 plus equals cu2 plus cu okay so here oxidation takes place and here reduction is taking place this is the electrode process okay now what is electrode potential electrode potential due to the potential difference between the zinc and copper the flow of current is taking place in the daniel cell okay potential associated with each electrode is called as electrode potential okay electrode potential is the potential associated with each electrode
potential associated with each electrode it is the measure of the of its ability to loss or gain electrons measure of its ability to gain or loss electrons okay this is called as electrode potential now next we can explain what is standard electrode potential standard electrode potential standard electrode potential means when the concentration of the solution of half cells are unity okay if we are taking the half cells and the concentration of those solutions are unity and at temperature 298 kelvin okay its potential difference is called as the standard electrode potential okay so, so potential of each electrode with its half cell concentration of those solutions are unity and at temperature 298 kelvin is called as standard electrode potential and it is represented by e0 okay by convention e0 of hydrogen electrode is zero okay the standard electrode potential of all the other electrodes are measured with relative to this hydrogen electrode okay so a negative value represents it is a strong reducing agent than electro than hydrogen electrode and a positive value represents it's a weak reducing agent than hydrogen electrode okay so in the case of this daniel cell zinc is having zinc is having minus 0.76 this shows that it is a strong reducing agent than hydrogen and copper is having the value plus 0.34 which shows that it is a weak reducing agent than hydrogen electrode okay all these we discuss the different standard electrode potential of different electrodes according to their increasing order is given in electrochemical series or we can say activity series electrochemical series this we already discussed earlier in the session uh, aqueous uh, redox reactions in aqueous solutions okay please refer that from which we will get the value for zinc is equal to point minus 0 0.76 copper plus 0 0.34 and so on okay and uh, hydrogen is having zero value okay now uh, from this we can see that the value of fluorine is very high positive value positive value which shows that it is a strong oxidizing agent so from this we can identify the electro uh, the different uh, 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 electrodes which are uh, oxidizing or reducing okay so this much about the electrode potential